This was once just a dream. TTC, TTC go. TTC, TTC is go for launch. Two. Which to mission at liftoff of Discovery and a team of explorers shaping their destiny. An answer built by those who dared to ask. What if we were to channel humanity's knowledge and creativity into something truly revolutionary? What if we built a bridge between and above all nations? to jointly discover the galaxy's great unknowns, to endeavor to live and to work outside our planet for the benefit of all within. What started as an accord between two former rivals became a beacon of opportunity for the rest of the world. We have ignition and liftoff of the Soyuz rocket, beginning the first expedition to the International Space Station and setting the stage for permanent human presence in space. You ready for visitors? We live this dream aboard the International Space Station. I understand it's good to have you there and adjusting to your new home. Adapting to life in space has been a process. For the past 20 years, over 230 astronauts from all over the world have worked tirelessly together, boldly performing pioneering research and high-stakes spacewalks in the unforgiving environment of space. In this unparalleled orbital laboratory, Circling the planet at 17,500 miles an hour, thousands of groundbreaking scientific experiments from over 100 countries have led to discoveries unachievable in the confines of Earth. From 250 miles up, an unbroken chain of residents have shared their view and their research with a generation eager to understand this higher plane. The space station is a symbol of humanity at its best a shining example of international peace and collaboration in action. Three, two, one. Endeavour, this is Houston. You've completed a historic ride to the ISS and have opened up a new chapter in human space exploration. And as we turn our gaze outward still, this International Space Station is a living testament of our collective strength and perseverance where our human curiosity prepares for the audacious efforts ahead. We continue to bridge the distances between us and prove just how much more is possible when we dream together. booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour with the first American element of the International Space Station uniting our efforts in space to achieve our common goals. The first two pieces, uh, the Zarya module launching from Kazakhstan and the node uh, Unity from, uh, from the United States, the first time those pieces ever touched each other was 250 miles above the Earth, traveling 17,500 miles an hour. They fit together perfectly, and the electrical signals across the interface was perfect, and yet that was the first time they had ever seen each other. together as a partnership, both the United States and Russia, but really also Japan, ESA, and, and Canada all pitch in and help each other through these times. Thank you to our ground support teams. And we really respect your professionalism. When we're up on orbit, we were pretty relieved to have all the risk of launch behind us. 
But then there was kind of a, uh, a very busy scramble, particularly to find the TV hookup and the TV cable so we could give you that downlink. We were really close to the wire, getting that all rigged and happy, and we almost missed it. Go ahead. Have a good day. We finally got access to the internet. We're really happy with it because it helps us feel like we're a little bit more in touch with the world below us. So we start taking this symbol of partnership and friendship and competition into space. People who explore, people who venture into the frontier will want to share the experience. It's an amazing experience. We have the internet and we can get the story out to more people. So if we step away and we can look at the Earth from above, we can get a very good feel for all of the dynamic changes that are happening both in the ocean, in the atmosphere, on land, and so forth. This is the cupola. It's one of those places you find yourself hanging out in all the time because all you want to do is look back at our planet. I play this game with myself about where we're flying over the Earth. You can sort of figure it out. You can tell different cloud types over different continents. You can tell different soil types over different continents. Oh wow, the Baja Peninsula. My favorite things to look at. Nice. Wow, that is amazing. I've definitely drawn encouragement from mentors, and so recognizing that we may be offering that for future space explorers was definitely a privilege and an honor. We have a gift and an opportunity to potentially inspire the future. So it's something that the whole world can be proud of.